Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming to the New Earth Army headquarters where we've been uh, assessing and collecting intelligence reports from around the world. We have some breaking news. Um, Stephen Greer has just uh, released uh, years and years of work gathering information on how certain agencies in our government have spun off and are independently creating contact with extraterrestrials and interterrestrials, by the way. There is a theme behind all of this which is um, a little disturbing because I can personally imagine having worked with corporations for 15 years and the government for 20 and still doing that, that the kind of loyal people that are there fundamentally uh, would have trouble with the way all of this was financed and that's sort of the rub of it. And it may be illegal from that point of view for these people to have taken um, a lot of money created in magical ways by Wall Street and bankers and ex separately and on their own um, investigated flights to Mars and other local agencies where they met as many as 40 extraterrestrial nations and by taking trips inside the planet where there seem to be at least 11 civilizations operating on multiple levels. Now, I know for many of you that's a great big gulp, but the kind of tools that they have don't require passing, uh, they can pass through the earth to get where they're going and they can go very far away in minutes. So you can see where this all became possible then just imagine the uh, awe they must have felt actually being present. And in this case, Stephen Greer made it very clear that the people that have been reported on meeting in, uh, above and below the Earth's surface are all really spiritually advanced, uh, have elders, and are friendly. It seems that during this time, you know, between Hollywood and other ways of intimidating people and people not wanting people to have a look, a closer look at what this UFO uh, uh, campaign was about, they scared them off with this kind of propaganda. So where are we? Well, we're in a place, Stephen says, where we know exactly who these players are, even though they're not m m mentioning their involvement and because uh, we don't have a right to know and part of that would be make sense and part of it wouldn't. Um, we know where they're located. We know that they actually are speaking in and among all of the nuclear weapons based countries in the world. So we have this complete other than political contact with people who could set World War III off. That sounds pretty comforting. And uh, essentially the people who have not been included who are in the Pentagon and other P Department of State, etc., they pretty much know they've been excluded. Now, they could be the, our so-called white hats. Uh, but you know, it doesn't mean the other guys are black hats. It only been, means they've been using the expedient means they needed to uncover major things that resulted from us going inside spaceships that landed here and we got the tool set out. Tool set is impressive. It, means you can go from from here to the other side of the solar system, you know, in minutes. And uh, you don't have to go through anything to go down through the crust of the earth to talk to the people below. So where does this leave us as a civilization? I think it, leaves, it should leave us in a place where we need to trust both the, these people. Government is not a very impressive tool these days, let's face that. But let's let the government deal with the public uh, services they need to deal with and let's let this other group come out to us, ask them to come out, ask them to sponsor a landing, uh, show us who, who our potential allies are and uh, reveal to us uh, what the possibilities are and then, by the way, agree to trust each other across boundaries Let's ask our armies to get off the battlefield because those are all politically uh, empowered and monetarily driven 
um, operations and let's get all the armies and navies and air forces back in the game of planetary recovery, recover the biosphere, recover the all the water, the minerals, the resources, because that is all um, just a, a sham that old corporations are using to just try and stay in business. You know, I worked at Ford for a while and the guy said, you know, you want me to make a tiny car and fire half of the 800 villages that work for Ford and have for 80 years? No, give them a break. Our, our corporations are communities and uh, should, be, should be thought of that way. Well, look, I will take your questions after a short break and I just wanted to get this out to you real quickly. Uh, our meeting is adjourned. Thank you.